time to continue with the healthiness here, okay? We're not doing <laughs> squats or anything like that. We're doing nutritional squats. Does yeah, that make sense? Yeah. Uh, with us it right does. now, <laughs> it doesn't, but thanks for humoring me. <laughs> Integrative Nutrition Health Coach, which is a very awesome title. Uh, Elaine Cooper, good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Good to have you here. Thank, you. Thank you so much. So you look super healthy. <laughs> number one, what is your secret though? I see you're a girl. Surround yourself <laughs> by green, I think, is what it is, isn't it? Yeah. Green's my color. It is, my yeah. too. Because even in your explanation, okay, urban gardener, coach, author, yep. grandma, yes. really? Yes. Wow, yes. okay. So you're Those doing are the something. jewels of my life. Well, you're doing something right here, obviously. You're eating well. I am, and living well. Because okay. you're really more than what you eat. You are how you live as well. Okay. And at a time in my life, I really um, could hardly get out of bed because of so much chronic pain mm. and fatigue and so forth, I knew I really needed to do something. I was up against a wall, but why do we wait until we're up against a wall, right? right? So I literally changed um, my eating habits. I changed um, some of my lifestyle habits. You know, I didn't throw everything away. My roots are grounded in the agricultural community. I grew up in the Eastern Townships of Quebec, which I still go down there regularly. It's yeah. mm -hmm. absolutely beautiful. So you can see why I'm bringing in some of the green, but I don't have 200 acres. I'm not 20 years old anymore. Um, I don't have the stamina mm. to go out and do all the digging. So as an urban gardener, I actually have this aeroponic setup. Okay, so what is, a, what is an urban gardener? So you, you're growing things within the city in a confined space? Oh sure, I'm growing them in front of my patio door in my kitchen all huh. winter with a light set up. Yeah. Okay, so you do need to have the yes. light set up. Yes, yeah. inside, okay. but in the summertime I toss it out on the balcony. So all I really need is a two foot square space and a plug-in because okay. everything's on a timer. Okay. And I can even travel Okay. because yeah. I'll go away for a week. Okay. And I just have to have water. Now that it. seems like a wonderful idea, but for someone like me who wouldn't know what to plant, where, and how to plant it, because you, when you plant something, you want to make sure it's going to grow. Yeah. So what do you, what sort of things thrive in an environment? Well, like I that? brought some of the things actually. Uh, when I took my towel apart this morning, it was kind of uh, a fun exercise. Yeah. Yes. I actually took oregano. Okay. And I. I stole this out of my daughter's oh. garden. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we won't tell anybody. And I actually put it into the pot. And this is oregano that was growing in soil. Mm -hmm. I washed the roots and I popped it in the tower. So these little ports each hold a plant. Mm -hmm. okay. Now what I did is I kept the kale on here. Everybody knows kale. Everyone knows kale now, yeah. This plant has been growing since November last year. Okay. So I continuously harvest off from it. This huh. growth is um, two weeks old. Huh. Oh wow! Yeah, because I take it and put it in my smoothies and my salad. Now, yeah. would you grow all the same thing on the same level, or would you scatter things? No, nope, I scatter them. So this is okay. oregano, and then I have mescaline greens here, which are the ones that you see in the uh, grocers that mm -hmm. are nice and fresh. But I can just turn around and pick it off the tower. I have a tomato plant that's ready to go on the tower. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have a cucumber plant. Now I want you to see the roots in here. because Now you said ready to go on the tower. If I were to go to my local gardener or gardening center and buy some plants, could I plant those in a planter like you this? You have to, like this one, wash the soil wash off the roots. the roots. Yes, because the nutrients and the water are at the base. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. And that's what flows up through the top and it actually showers the roots. So wow. as these are sitting is hydroponic. Okay. As this would be sitting running is aeroponic. Okay. Because it actually is showering the roots and the roots aren't sitting in. Yeah. But so these where do you get that, that tower? Oh, I just happen to be a distributor. Oh, okay. Whoa. <laughs> right. but, so the important part here is obviously anybody can do this, right? Absolutely. Anybody can do it and it's a lot of fun. I have um, a program that um, I teach kids and I have a project that I want to get it in front, I want to get that tower in front of children and seniors. Right. At one point in time so, I said... So why seniors? Sorry to cut you off. Nope. Because children obviously, so they can learn this right out of the gate, seniors... so Because there's so many that have that twitchy green thumb experience. Yeah. And this is an outlet. And it keeps, yeah, it's nurturing. Yeah. When they're yeah. past that point where, you know, they feel useful, 
-hmm. they can keep doing something that's useful. So Beautiful. yes, it does keep them active. Mm -hmm. So you are someone who practices what you preach. You just came back from a bucket list <laughs> trip, and you just, you, can you tell us a little bit about she that? she just looks super happy or uh, yeah, what? Yeah, I know. It's like I got her You're back in that something right here. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. I took a ton of pictures and lots of video, and we did uh, about 13,000 kilometers, that's 8,000 US, mm -hmm. yeah. um, in one month. Mm -hmm. Uh, south to the southern states and my goal was to meet and talk to the people who actually grow okay differently than how we grow because mm -hmm. it's a different temperature so I brought to you here today some of the things that I discovered there and that I will have available at my celebration that I'm having this weekend. It's okay. a crazy busy weekend, um, meeting the other colleagues here. So quickly, we only have about 45 seconds okay. left, so show us what so you brought. So this is a date tort, and these are dates from Yuma, Arizona. Oh. Okay, and are these fresh? These are absolutely fresh. They're edible? Anything to get a date, are you doing? Hang on, yeah, hang on, on. we're giving you a date. It? And it's, we have- It's not like I'm just eating your food on you, but I am. A cashew cream here. Beautiful. Oh. That is infused with the date water and oh. vanilla. One bite brownie. He didn't like it, right? <laughs> the other thing that I got, and I was like a crazy mm. woman. Oh, there it is. Whoa. There, Hot. crazy woman on a mission is prickly pear cactus juice. Oh, what? I love that. What now? Pear. Oh. Uh, you quickly, gotta taste that. We are running out of time. Tell us when your event is. It's this Saturday, mm -hmm. June 4th, from 10 to 4. It's benefiting the Adawa Social Enterprise Program. Mm -hmm. And um, if it's people want to get more Center. information, is there a website? They or can go on Facebook, and uh, it's on Eventbrite. It's mm. Your Better Living Expo. Wow. Thank I want to so be a, a beautiful grandma. You know, in amazing shape. Look and at this lady. Better. Look well, this you lady. are it's beautiful. Great. You can continue to be beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. It, it's uh, every day I work on it. It's not easy. All right, so, but this is definitely good tips uh, to help, you know, people well, just fun. stay and how feel fun. good. Great. How nice fun. to have how you fun. here. Thank you and very I love much. the energy. Elaine such, Cooper. such a great energy and vibe. Thank you so much for being here. And a basil for each one of oh, you. Oh my God, my favorite herb. Right. This is the king here, <laughs> it's basil. It's favorite herb. It is my favorite herb. I, I, love, I love this kind of stuff. I love Thank growing. you Thanks. very much, Elaine. Thanks for being here. We are coming back with something else that's going to make you feel great, Dylan. Oh? Baobab drumming. And oh. we are going to maybe have a drum off. Make music together, Dylan. Who knows Dylan. what's going to happen? Look, I'm dream coming true. Oh, rough life here. Look. <laughs> Join us for more daytime. We'll be right back. Cheers. <laughs>